we've been together for, I'd say, about two years. So it's all, so much time has gone by. We're actually going to get to our first, what I would call, truly complex robotic operation on the space station. Change this play frame to our MTB-1 grasp. So we're actually going to use the on-orbit robot to acquire three of the tools that are installed in our payload, grab those tools and actually interface with our payload like cutting wire, releasing launch locks, and these are tasks that the on-orbit robot named Dexter has never done before. So as Dexter's uh, performing tasks on orbit, we'll be following along with the robot. There's four live high-definition videos coming down from Space Station. We'll, we'll be watching those views to see what the robot's doing. We'll be watching the data from the robot, telling us what the robot's actually doing, how it's moving, how fast it's moving, where it is. So if there are issues on the Space Station, our robot here could demonstrate ways to, to solve the problem that we're running into in space. As the robot flies on orbit, the teams have their headsets on. They're listening. Okay, what's going on? We're on procedure one. We're going to pull the tool out of the stowage bay. So we check. Is everybody ready? We get goes from every. We get goes from the electrical team. We go for operations. Telemetry looks good. Okay. Mechanical, are you good? Tools, are you good? Robotics, are you good? Then we go into the operation. Happy you guys are getting to step 59.2. I tell them here, guys, be watching, be watching when these camera views come down because you really only have a small window to say, break, break, stop the operation because they're going to move right on to the next step. Our robot operators can talk to the to the Johnson and the Canadian Space Agency robot operators to tell them how to maybe troubleshoot or do the task. Next command is confirming to play IOC sequence 508 kilo. We're going to see this week for the very first time um, how successful we can be. This is only the first of hopefully many operations demonstrating robots can service satellites on the space station. We're really just scraping the surface of what RRM can do. Probably every couple of months from now on you're going to start seeing RRM stuff. We'll do gas transfer task, we'll do refueling, and then we have other little busy board tasks like releasing torque set screws, and that'll take us to the end of the year probably to get through all the objectives on this first phase of RRM. Mm -hmm.